we use uh, three, uh, uh, three arithmetic operators, one for the addition and the other one for the multiplication and the third one for the division. So let's try to use another arithmetic operator and that is used for the subtraction. When you subtract one number from another number, so in that case we use the subtraction operator. So let's try to put commit here, program uh, for subtracting. one number from another number now let's try to put the uh, include the header files i o stream and using standard namespace okay so after this let's try to put the function main function and this is Let's try to declare two variables. Now in this program, because in previous program, we used the declaration part, let's try to uh, initialize the variable, uh, different variables. Uh, let's assume that we have this n1, n1, and we are going to initialize this n1 variable with uh, value 10, okay? So this is called as the initialization initialization okay so when you try to um, initialize one where uh, initialize a variable declare a variable and assigning a value in one line we call it initialization and similarly in two that is let's assume uh, five so initialization of a variable into this is the initialization of n1 okay fine so now let's try to declare another variable for storing the result and we call this as sub okay sub for subtraction so this subtraction or sub uh, is going to uh, uh, like store the result after what after when we uh, subtract 10 from uh, 5 so let's try to write comment declaration declaration of variable sub and then we have the sub n1 minus n2 so this is the formula in one we we are going to take uh, n1 and whatever the value in one is that is 10 that will be subtracted from n2 which is 5 because in n2 we stored 5 so now let's read uh, let's see the result try to use spaces for readability subtraction the subtraction of the subtraction of n1 you need to use this operator minus operator subtraction of n1 and n2 that's equal to that's equal to what that's equal to sub so this is going to print us the result after subtracting n1 from n2 now let's try to save this program and we call it subtraction so this is how the result is going to be displayed on the screen so now you can see this is the result now subtraction the subtraction a message is printed here off okay after this we print we print n1 the value of n1 which is 10 and then minus sign is printed and then 5 which is the value of n2 and then the equal sign is printed and then whatever is stored in uh, sub variable after subtracting 10 from 5 so when we subtract 10 from 5 we get 5 so thank you very much 
I hope you like this video.